water is the fountain head of life. That's why scientists are mighty excited about having detected a water fountain spraying out from Jupiter's fourth largest moon, Europa, which is already considered one of the prime candidates for life in our solar system. Now scientists already know that Europa has water. It's covered in a 25 km thick crust of ice that protects the liquid ocean beneath from the radiation that bathes Europa's atmosphere. This radiation actually prevents spacecraft from getting close enough to study Europa's oceans. But when scientists re-examined data that NASA's Galileo spacecraft had collected back in 1997, they found that a certain bend which it had seen in Europa's magnetic field was evidence of a leak in the ice crust through which water had spewed forth into the atmosphere. Now that Europa is offering us free lab samples, we'd be crazy not to go back for seconds. Imagine charging your smartphone for just one hour and then not having to charge it again for the next three months. Wow! A team from the University of Missouri believes it has developed a device that will increase battery life by over a hundred times. The new magnetic material was made by depositing a magnetic alloy on the honeycomb-like lattice of a silicon or germanium surface. Behaving like a diode in which current flows only in one direction, the material allows less power to dissipate. So this means less overheating of computer processors and higher power efficiency in batteries. You've got to say, more power to this invention. Genetics explain around 70% of the reason that we are prone to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Now, scientists have figured out how to prevent it. It all comes down to the ANKRD16 gene. See, we function and grow because our cells transmit genetic information to proteins. Genes also have a proofreading mechanism to make sure that this information transfer is error-free in nerve cells in the brain's cerebellum. But as we age, this corrective ability declines and errors creep in, leading to the buildup of improper proteins which cause neurological disorders. The solution, scientists say, is to boost the levels of ANKRD16, which provides a secondary layer of proofreading to prevent pathological defects. Sub-editors are so underrated. <laughs>